Okay. Hello. Hello. Uh, this is my first video since uh, October 2016. So as promised, I said I would share my process and my progress of my journal that I made on my computer. Okay. And the thing is, the reason why I did this is because my bullet journal, which is this, um, I was getting anxieties because I don't, I love books and I don't like to ruin books. I mean, I think they're sacred. So, <laughs> so when I started writing in it, I was messing it up badly. And I mean, it's gotten better over, you know, over the past couple of days. But um, as you can see, my gel pens were bad um, and I was getting anxious. Okay. And so my daughter gave me a bunch of stuff and I had gotten some templates. And as you can see, I've gotten better at it. Right. Um, and I'm not so anxious with it. But in the meantime, uh, you go over here. In the meantime, I thought, what if I had, because I'm very, I'm not very artistic at all. Um, drawing is not my forte. That, that all went to my daughter. So I thought that as long as I'm going to do this, I'm going to do one on the computer and then maybe I'll bind it myself and share the process um, because it's going to be pretty cool. So <laughs> I hope. Um, so here is the first part. I know I'm, I'm kind of, I'm, I'm, I'm rambling on, but because I don't really know how to be an instructor, but when you're making um, a journal or any book, um, and you want to make sure that your page layouts are cohesive. What you would want to do is when you're binding a book, you don't want to put too many pages in one uh, bind. Okay, one, one uh, grouping. So I took three pages, three pieces of paper. Okay. And no, this isn't dirt. I actually hit my, ham my nail with a hammer. And it used to be up here, but, you know, over time my nail has grown, so it's it's coming out. <laughs> um, but, okay, so you take three pieces, pieces of paper and fold them in half because this is making your, your, uh, your pile, okay? I don't know what to call it. I mean, it's a group, you know? What, what, I don't know what to call it. Anyway, um, you flatten it out, okay? And use, you know, get, get it, make sure that it's nice and tight. Okay. Oh, by the way, if you're wondering what this fabric is, this is going to be my book cover. Um, so I decided to use this as my backdrop. All right. So here is our first set. Okay. You have as many as you want. I've got quite a few because I wanted a nice thick book. Okay. So when I bind it, it's it's going to look like a regular book and not, you know, like, like this. You know, that's goofy. So, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, so, yeah, I made it. I mean, there's 12 months to a year. So, you know. Uh, so, yeah. So you need three, three pieces, three pages to make a nice solid, um, you know, group. So that, because you're going to sew it. When you bind it, it's you sew it, right? Okay. So the first thing, and and the most complicated thing about doing this, I found, was making sure that what was here, what was here, was here. Well, okay. This is page one. And this is actually page two. Right. So. When you're printing it out on your computer, this is one side of, 
it, it's it's complicated. So what I did was I I put together a, a you know a, a a kit a clip, and I started making my pages. Okay. So the first thing I did, I know I'm getting off track and I'm probably not explaining this very well, but first thing you want to do is number your pages. All right. So let's do that. Okay. So you got page one. Okay. Put it down here in the corner. And then you've got page two. Page three. Page four. Five. Six, oops, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Okay, so now this is what boggles the mind because. If you flatten it out and go in, you know, put your mind into print mode, six and seven are fine. But on the opposite side of your, your uh, the other side of the page that you're going to be printing on is page eight and five. So, <laughs> so when you're doing your pages and you're laying them out, you want to make sure that whatever is on page four goes to number five because this page is four and nine and this page is two and 11. So it gets really confusing if you don't do it this way because this is a good way to keep track of it. Okay. It's just the easiest way to do it. All right. So. We have this. Now, in my first insert, I wanted to have a quote, something that would be be inspirational on the beginning of the of the uh, of the book. So I chose this quote, which is "Do not complain beneath the stars about the lack of bright spots in your life," and that is so true. So this is page one. See, page one. And then on the other side, I start making my calendar, okay? But see, the calendar begins in January on page one, or on page two, and then goes to the next page on page three. You understand what I'm saying? So... You're printing out page 2 and 11, which is this, okay? This is page 2. This is page 11 here. And then on page 3, 10 and 3 is the other side of your calendar. Okay, and this mimics that, that matches that. You see what I'm doing here? Okay, so that, I mean, and then this, the inside of this matches this, you see this? And then this is sticky notes in the center for notes and whatnot, things that you need to be remembering. And then here is, movie bucket list and TV shows that I watch. So my movie bucket list I put in there because there's so many movies that are coming out that I want to see. And TV shows, I got to remember because there's so many of them and some of them I record and some of them I don't. And then I forget when it's coming on and I have my VGR set, but you know, sometimes I forget. And then there's new shows coming out and I oh, just so much good TV. So from seven to nine, I'm I'm incapacitated in front of the in front of the video screen. So, all right. So that's how you lay them out. You do this, okay? 
And then what you want to do is write down on your pages what you're going to be putting on them, okay? And just make a list. You can keep using this same template. But for this packet, okay, packet, that's the word I wanted to use. For this packet, I did, quote, and then here, I did calendar, and here, calendar, here, movies, Here, TV shows. Here, stickies. Here, stickies. And you can do whatever you want. Just make sure that you're writing down what you want on each page so that when you go to print it out and create the pages, that you're putting them on the right place on the pages, if, you, if that makes sense. Because you got when you print it out, you got to split it in half. And how I did that was I used Microsoft Word. Okay, so then we got Netflix. Bucket list. We got Prime bucket list. <laughs> and I just threw these in here because, you know, I just needed something to fill up pages. And then we've got Words of Wisdom. something ironic or whatever's on your mind, you know, just write it down. And then the things that you need to get done. So, so, uh, tasks, monthly tasks. I just called it this month's bucket list. And then another quote to finish up the month or, you know, to finish out the, so, so you see what happens here? You have quote, quote, tasks, and if you're going to coordinate it like this so that when the, your, the book is open, this matches this, you know, then you know to do the same thing over here. You know what I mean? Put, put a, you know, this page has to match this page. Well, this page is 10, this is 11, but when you're printing it out, it's all weird. So, <laughs> so I mean, this is, the, this is a good way to do it, okay? Um, and it's the easiest way to keep track of where what page goes where, and then when you fold it, it's all cohesive. Because um, otherwise, especially something like this, this could be over here, on here. And if this is how you print it out, it isn't going to be, it's not going to work. So it's not how you want it to lay out in the book itself. So, all right, so there's that. Then for my individual months, I made individual days, okay? And I wanted to, um, I wanted a, 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 a group, a package with, uh, just the days in it for each day of the month so that I could write down what I was going to do and what I've, you know, uh, chores I needed to be done or, you know, maybe if I needed to pick up something from the store, you know, I could write it on the next day when I go out. I hopefully remember. <laughs> so what you want to do is then using this same principle, you write, head or, or um, uh, cover okay and that's your, for the month and once you do this one time all you have to do is change the pages that you saved for every month of the of the year so that's you know that's a plus now then you open it up and to do your days you do one to three four to six. Okay. Then the next page, 
7 to 8, or 7 to 9, rather, and 10 to 12. Okay. Then on here, 13 to 15, and 16 to 18. This one's easy. <laughs> it's the middle of the of the pack. Then, oops, turn the page. 19 to 21, 22 to 24, 25 to 27, 28 to 30. And then if there's a 30th month or 30, 31 days in the month, then you go to 31. Ta -da. Okay. But if you didn't do this, you'd have a problem because when you go to print it out, the set, the middle page is fine. Okay. Because it goes from 13 all the way across. But if you turn, once you turn it around to print on the other side, you go from 19 to 21 and then 10 to 12. And that's how you have to print it out. That's how you have to make it for this particular grid. If you don't do it this way and mark it down in your packet template in this, then you're not going to know what to put where. And it won't be, you'll have dates all over the place. So this is key. This is, this is like your little, little slice of heaven right here, because it'll keep you, um, it'll keep you, you know, cohesive and every page will be, it'll all make sense when you open up your book. So then I made it, um, I made monthly recipe pages. So every month I want, I'm going to find a new recipe and make it. And I'm going to put the recipe here and then a menu planner so that I can focus on preparing meals and not just, you know, hamburger helper, which I, I am guilty of, um, personal goals for this month, promotions for my business, clients, orders, fun things that I did and silly spending, which I do sometimes. And another quote to end the month. So, and this is how it goes. You have, you have your quote and your task, your little tasks for the, for, you know, for the beginning of the book. Okay. Then your daily planner type pages. And then your monthly goodies. And then you print 12 of these, 12 of these, one of these, and then of course, one of these for every month. Now I used, um, well, and here, as long as I've got it, here's my, here's mine. Here's February or here, I'll go backwards. We have December. November, October, and look at this, isn't that cute? <laughs> September, wait a minute, didn't I already do that? What? Did I goof? Oh, November, okay. <laughs> November, October, September, August. Nice little beach action going on there, which I won't be going to, but that's okay. July, Independence Day theme. June, because it's Papa's Day. So I put a tree because, you know, strong Papa. May, because we always get rain now that everything's a month behind. April, with the flowers. March, St. Paddy's. 
February, which is, of course, Valentine's Day, and then January. And you know why I did the whole, um, you know, I'll, I'll let you in on a little secret here. I did the whole um, Art Deco thing here for January because it's the start of the new year. And if you think about it, this is the next Roaring Twenties because there won't be another Twenties for another hundred years. So this is Roaring Twenties, the new roar, Roaring Twenties 2020 because like I said that's been a hundred years ago in 1920 and this is 2020 and there won't be another roaring 20s until 2121 or 2120 and I will not be here for that so I figured I'll do an art deco theme for the beginning of the year so anyway this is how to do it I um or how to plan it with this, with your little cheat page. Um, I use Microsoft Word, like I said, because you get beautiful lines that you can, because if you use tables, um, you can make some really nice lines that you can draw. You can use, I mean, I'm, I mean I'm sure you guys are talented enough to uh, use Photoshop. But, <laughs> excuse me, I am not, I mean, I'm okay, I, I'm okay in Photoshop, but I didn't feel like sitting there and drawing all the lines, you know, to be, to write on, you know, because you'd have to do that over and over and over. And, I mean, you can copy and paste it and stuff like that, but, you know, uh, that's tedious. And it was just so much easier for me to put a table into Word, you know, and throw my images in there. And I didn't have to worry about messing it up or making it ugly and ruining a book. Now, <laughs> now the next time I post a video will be to uh, show you how to bind it. Um, and like I said, this is going to be the fabric I use for my cover. So, um, yeah, I'll show you how to bind the book and then we'll make the cover and we'll be all set so it was really good to see you guys again um i hope you enjoyed the video um and if you have any questions uh you can contact me on my instagram just look under bjd attic and that would be moy and then um and or or post a comment here on the in my blog and or you know contact me via my blog um which is links in my Instagram um, and and of course you know where it is because you're here watching it <laughs> unless you're on my YouTube channel then you're not watching it on my blog so anyway um, happy new year um, and I hope this you know makes a little sense to you I'm not real good at explaining stuff unfortunately <laughs> but but, you know, you're smart. You don't really need that much of a of a blow-by-blow -blow description. So, thank you for watching. I'll see you again um, as soon as I get ready to bind this book. Take care. <laughs>